Ni hao Taiwan, this is Eddie Golding. We are One Republic. We are the Chainsmokers. We're listening to ICRT. FM 100. The best international radio station in town. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to this week's ICRT vlog. For this week, our first story involves a cuddly creature who actually in fact should not be cuddled technically. But a Formosan black bear was rescued late last year from Hualien. It's a wild bear cub. But officials found it in Hualien County's Nen and waterfall, near the waterfall. It was by itself and officials say that its mother was likely scared off by hikers or tourists. It was just a bad and by itself. They say the cub was four months old at the time and he only weighed just over four kilograms, less than what my cats weigh. It was extremely malnourished. It was in poor health and it was sick. So they took the bear in and they gave it medical care and they started raising the bear and teaching it to survive in the wild on its own. Now it is living in this enclosure that sort of simulates a wild environment. It is learning to hunt on its own and to forage for food. They introduced live chickens into the enclosure so that the bear would learn to, you know, catch birds or whatever on its own in the wild. The first chicken that they put into the enclosure, they tried to pick one that wasn't as peppy and alert and was kind of sickly so the bear cub could start on an easy one. And what happened was the bird just flew off and they could not find the bird. And unfortunately, it just went missing. They ended up getting another chicken and the bear cub successfully killed and ate that one. A couple weeks later, the chicken, the first chicken, just turned up again. This chicken was just sort of strolling around the enclosure, hanging out with the bear cub. They were eating next to each other, lounging in the dirt next to each other. They seemed to have a very comfortable and amicable relationship. Now, a lot of people have started calling this chicken Xiong Ma Ji, like Xiong Ma Ji, like friend of a bear, but Ji for chicken. And the chicken is still around. Now this bear cub is 40 kilograms heavy and is ready to be released back into the wild. There's no official word on whether Zhong Ma Ji is going to be released with the bear into the wild, but it's made for a very lovely friendship. Our second story this week is about your personal safety online. A lot of us are living and sharing more of our lives online, but one of the things that's supposed to keep us safe is our passwords. UK National Cybersecurity Center has recently published their findings on cybersecurity. They have listed the most commonly hacked passwords based on their research database. Number one is 123456. That's the most commonly hacked passwords. And shockingly enough, 23 million accounts that were hacked used that password. 23 million people, or close to that number of people with those accounts, used 123456 as their password. Common sense, people! The second most commonly hacked password was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Other passwords that were sort of kind of actually passwords were QWERTY, Q-W-E-R-T-Y, or the keyboard, and also password, the word password. Um, also surprisingly, names, names of sports teams, uh, <coughs> swear words were very common. Don't need to mention which specific naughty word. The most commonly hacked person names were Ashley and Michael. Then the most commonly hacked sports team password was Liverpool from European soccer. For the most commonly used fictional character that was also easily hackable, Superman is the guy you want to avoid. Also, the month of August, the words I love you, monkey, dragon, those were all in the top 20. If you use any of those passwords in any way, shape, or form, maybe you want to consider making a change. And that does it for our first two stories. Before I, t before I turn things over to our other broadcaster. Why do I struggle with this every week? And before I turn things over to my fellow newsman, Philip Broussard, make sure you get your tickets for the ICRT Greatest Hits 40th Anniversary Concert that is coming up in July, and it's going to be amazing, and all the best hits from the past couple of decades. Over to you, Philip. Pretend like... <laughs> Hello everybody, so uh, the story I have for you today is about one of Taiwan's most popular TV shows that they have right now. Of course I'm talking about the show called The World Between Us. It was released just recently in March and the uh, final episodes have already aired. This is a crime show, it takes place here in Taiwan, about families dealing with the aftermath of a mass shooting. It's written by Lu Shiyuan. She's actually the same writer who did Dear X, which won a lot of the awards 
awards for uh, movies in Taiwan last year. And so the show has some star power. There is Alyssa Jia and James Wood. There's also another actress, her name is Chen Yun. So this show, it's owned by Catch Play. This show's been getting a lot of buzz. The last two episodes they aired just on Sunday, and Catch Play says that nearly four million people logged in just to watch the final two episodes. And this reminds us of Teen Psychic, which was another Taiwanese show that got pretty popular, and both of these are made by Taiwan's public television service. Good job, PTS. What is most special about this show is that it might actually start being shown internationally. Of course, there's a couple of Taiwanese dramas that are on Netflix, but it looks like this might be broadcast specifically on real network television in Europe. Catch Play right now is in discussions with copyright issues there, but um, before we know it, Taiwan could be getting a lot more coverage soon. Okay, so I also looked into the demographics on the IMDb. So it has a 9.5 out of 10 for all of the votes on IMDb. Doesn't matter what age, doesn't matter male or female, everybody gave it over nine, except for men aged 45 and above, who gave it an 8.8. .8. Non-US voters voted 9.4, but the only people who voted, again, below a nine, were US voters, and they voted 8.3. Okay, so thank you for watching the 32nd edition of the ICRT vlog, and we'll see you next week.